Hello, in this video we'll talk about Mycoplasma. Mycoplasma are so far known smallest bacterial species on planet Earth. They have very simple structure. Genetic material DNA, soluble RNA and proteins are encapsulated in a trilaminar membrane. And if we zoom into the membrane, we can understand this membrane is very densely packed with cholesterol. They can survive without the oxygen and they can come in different shapes. For example, M. genitalium is a flux-shaped bacteria whereas M. pneumoni is more elongated in their shape. So they can change their shape and size. So this is basically a nature of highly pleomorphic organisms. Mycoplasma lack cell wall. That is why they don't really take up gram staining. And it's very hard for the technicians to detect them. They can be parasitic or saprophytic. Many species of mycoplasma are found in sewage and soils. Not all of them are pathogenic. Some of them are, such as myco mycoplasma pneumonia. So M. pneumonia or any kind of mycoplasma species forms a characteristic fried egg-like structure on agar plate. And this is really characteristic of mycoplasma. Nickname of mycoplasma is pleuropneumonia like organism because they are involved in pneumonia. So M. pneumonia is responsible for walking pneumonia which is very common in school kids. It's basically a mild atypical form of pneumonia. Other than that M. genitalium is believed to be involved with pelvic inflammatory disease and bacterial vaginosis. So M. genitalium can grow on the vagina and it can lead to vaginal discharge if the growth is too much and often it smells like fish. Mycoplasma hominis lives in the urinary tract and genitals of women and it's very common and very it is rare in males. So they're generally okay they don't cause great harm but if the woman has good health, it's not a problem. But sometimes, if the woman has weakened immune response, then it might lead to infections. Mycoplasma hominis can be uh, transferred from mother's body to the baby, so it can cause fever in the newborns. Also, there are other species like Europlasma and uh, Ureoplasma. Those can actually infect the female reproductive tract and they are generally found in cervix and vagina and also they are uh, present in smaller number in male in their urethra so normally they don't cause any problem but sometimes they can spread to the partner during sex and also they can be transmitted from mother's body to the uh, uh, to the baby in the womb or during the childbirth and it can cause harm to the newborn baby. So obviously these mycoplasma species can affect you during sex. So using a condom or a contraceptive can help you not getting this particular bacteria. Mycoplasma is actually a nightmare in cell culture labs because generally worldwide there are reports that all cell culture medias are highly contaminated with mycoplasma and in fact these days Scientists prefer to do always mycoplasma testing in a routine basis. So the question is that whether mycoplasma can be killed by antibiotics. It turns out beta lactam antibiotics such as penicillin cannot harm these bacteria because they don't have a cell wall and beta lactam antibiotics work on the cell wall. So other antibiotics like tetracycline which works by preventing the translation to occur or prevents new protein synthesis can be effective against mycoplasma. So doxycycline can be a good treatment option for mycoplasma infection, not any beta lactam antibiotics such as penicillin. So I hope this video was informative. Let us quickly summarize. Mycoplasma lack cell wall. They don't take up gram stain. They can be parasitic and saprophytic. There are several species which are pathogenic to human. We discussed few of them. Nickname of mycoplasma is also PPLO because they cause pleuropneumonia. 
Beta lactam antibiotics are ineffective against mycoplasma, so tetracyclines or doxycyclines can be used to treat mycoplasma infection. Mycoplasma is a nightmare in cell culture lab because they can grow nicely on cell culture and contaminate the cell culture media. So I hope this video was useful. If you like this video, don't forget to support my channel on Patreon. If you are an Indian viewer, you can support using the Bhim UPI app. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. You can find my courses in Unacademy, which is India's biggest learning platform. You can also connect to me via social media. All my social media handles are provided in the description. So don't forget to follow my Facebook page as well. Thanks for listening. Let me know in the comments how you like my video. Thank you.